is Sean O'Malley, the number one Bantamweight contender and perhaps a future world champion. There were a lot of us that believed in this man early on. And I think those that didn't are now getting on board that bandwagon, getting off the crowd. Well, I'll tell you this much, John. I never thought he would be the number one contender to sue. But he showed that it's not just confidence. He's not just spewing words. He has the actions to back up those words. That's why you saw him in that competitive fight with Peorion. That's why you have seen him compete and compete well against the best fighters in the world. That's why you see him so close to a championship opportunity. But there's one last step, and that's getting to win the night. And obviously that is easier said than done, but Sean O'Malley has this intricate training camp built entirely around him. And there is no denying his status right now as one of the very best 135 pound fighters in the world. as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there, you've done that. That is man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary, and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Luke Rockle steps inside the octagon. He's ready to fight. the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Business Herb Dean is our referee tonight. Ready. All right, so with that touch of the gloves, we are underway with this stand-up only fight. A couple of rules in play here, we remind you. No grappling of any type. Also, fighters cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see how it plays out. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going to He has got to fight all. He's got to stay at range, use his length. Give his opponent problems We're trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. All right, so a little bit of a pedestrian start to this fight about a minute in. Not much action on either side. Is that a feeling out process? What do you see? John, you just woke me up. <laughs> it's boring in here. Come on, get to work. Press the button. All those buttons, bang on them and start creating some action. All right, good start for the Sugar Show. Sean O'Malley realizes his particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he just darts it with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. That punch, no good. 
Heavy kick downstairs. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Well, he continues to work the body to great effect. Another kick landed there by O'Malley. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Under two minutes now to go. Just touching him with the jab. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. Oh! You heard him. That one landed clean. What a fight. Just missed with the elbow there. right in front of each other, just kind of... He's only got 60 seconds with which to recover. Not a lot of time to get his head back into this one. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. Oh, big punch man. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends to the other fight work. Oh, the sugar shell shot. Huge connection right there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal. Uh, uh, back and forth, go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Nice job defensively. What a beautiful high kick that landed there. Hook, that'll land. Slips the punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. O'Malley's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Oh, perfect combination. Big body kick land. Another massive body kick land. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. to avoid the right. O'Malley's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Rockhold's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? You wonder 
that the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best fifth fighters in the UFC. Swing and a big miss by Sean O'Malley. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. Oh! Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. In the can. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. You heard it again. Well, new round, same result, as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Oh! Oh, he is stunned, trying to recover here. He's got him trying to finish here. Defensive Savant, he blocked that punch. Oh, nice right hand by the champs. Yeah. Strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, I will do it! Stop, oh my stop. goodness! Inside the octagon once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 16 seconds of round number three. Declared the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Luke Rockhold. Well, when Luke Rockhold has put it all together as he did here tonight, I'm not sure there's a more dangerous middleweight in the world. Congratulations to Javi Mendez and everybody at AKA. A lot of people wonder where Luke Rockhold's head would be at coming into this fight. I think he showed you exactly where it is at in the right place. This is as big a win as Luke Rockhold has had dating to his run as UFC middleweight champion. 